I Bye. love you. Love you too. Yay. <laughs> when did you get robbed? What do you mean? Oh, my new character, Asta? You guys talking about Asta? Yeah, I got Asta. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're talking about Asta, right? <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. Obviously, I have. I tweeted it out on Twitter, and I talked about it in Patreon chat. But yeah, right before her banner left, I actually got Robin. Robin has been acquired. Right before she left. I also actually have some gems, too, for a pull. I already did a pull on, um, I think it was Fu Xuan's banner. I already did a pull, and uh, we need to talk about... Um, we need to talk. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> I've had, I pulled Pella like three times. <laughs> we need to talk about Pella. <laughs> she keeps showing up. She will not leave me alone. Pella won't leave. That's not a bad thing. It is to me. <laughs> Um, also, I think it's probably worth the being mentioned. I got more marches. <laughs> my mar- after fall- after all that fucking Robin pulling, my march is almost that fucking Edelon full- is almost fucking E6. She's at E4 right now. No, I didn't fool four pellets on one pull. It's just to keep showing up. But yeah, my march- my march is at E- march is at E4, so, you know, there's that at the very least, I suppose. Uh, other than that, though, I don't know if there's anything else of... Oh, right! I leveled up Gepard. I have actually... I have been using Gepard, and, uh, I, try to, I tried him out in the, uh... What was it called? The Simulated Universe. And, uh, yeah, Gepard's pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> like... Mainly his ult. Like, I, the part that I didn't read about his ult, because I was like, this guy ain't that good. He only gives a shield when he ults. And then I read the part where his ult says for three turns. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean for three turns? <laughs> and he does that, but you know, I don't know. He's kind of weird. So, yeah, and I was like, so yeah, his, his, his shields are kind of are kind of cool. But um, yeah, I learned that uh, him and uh, using him and... The Preservation Trailblazer are actually really good duo together because I just kind of get them to hit me sometimes, and then sometimes they hit him, and then I'm giving shields while he's also giving shields, and it's just a bunch of shields back and forth. So, you know, it's kind of nice. Uh, I don't think I did anything else of value. Uh, oh, got Robin's, uh, got Robin this light cone. Childishness. Uh, wait, I did that. Um,. Don't think I did anything else, really. I don't think I did anything crazy. Oh, yeah. I think I was only here because oh, yeah, I was here because I was getting asked to shit. Yeah, he also, yeah, yeah I know about the revi him reviving himself, yeah. Anyway. Uh, now that we're here, uh, we can continue some sort of mission. I remember I was looking at the Natasha stuff, right? Yeah, I want to do Natasha's mission. I want to go back and learn about her fucking weird-ass brother. I heard that it's getting late. Where's he I want to continue this companion mission. Because this also sounds depressing. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. Can I talk to you for a moment? I have a favor to ask. Something rather personal. You want me to kill somebody? I want to thank you again for recovering the wonder medicine. It meant a lot to me. But disposing of Vash's reagents isn't enough to solve the medical supply shortage. Many of my patients can't be seen promptly. And my stock of medicine is running low. Thanks to you, the route to the overworld through the Furnace Core has reopened. 
Oh shit. I'd like to use it to return to the surface and see if I can get some help. Oh, we couldn't even actually do this part of our quest until we actually opened the uh, surface. <laughs> I knew you'd be interested. Remember my adoptive parents I mentioned to you a while ago? After the reopening of the Furnace Core passage, I had an idea. I wrote a letter and asked Sampo to deliver it to my parents' old address. I forgot Sampo's existence. I didn't have high hopes, but amazingly, Sampo brought me my mother's reply. Sampo being a gentleman, a rare occurrence. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought when I got her letter. Mom said they still live at the old house, but they're not working on the front lines anymore. They should still have some connections in the medical school and the hospital, though. If I'm lucky, maybe I can convince them to send extra medical supplies to the underworld. Of course, that's not the only reason for me to go back to the surface. <laughs> I can't wait to visit my parents again. And I can tell from my Aww. mom's letter that they feel the same. If possible, I would like you to go with me. I'm gonna meet your parents? Wonderful. <laughs> That's such a relief. I've sent another letter to my mom telling her to find us near Fountain Plaza. Don't worry. I know my way around the administrative district. All right. Blizzard immunity. Let's go. Fun fact, a part singing animation trying to sing his sister's song, which he also has an idol animation it's for. Getting late. Oh, that's what he's referencing. Hold up. I want to hear. I don't actually remember Serval's idol animation. All right, <laughs> sing, sing like your light cone. Oh. Okay, well she's not doing it. Dexter, you lied to me. <laughs> Unless you mean like it's an idol animation she only does if she's out and about. Go into photo mode and you can play the idol animation independently. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. How do you get into photo? How do you get into photo mode? <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, no, you probably have to. Oh, yeah. Wait, photo modes like this, right? Okay. Hold up. I think one of these is my survival team. There you go. This and then this and then. this there you go all right how the fuck do i play idol action oh oh that's cute there's this one does she like actually just play fucking like electric sh music at people that's kind of scary chat what if she plays electric music at me and kills me all right back to this team what i don't have a notification oh hey thank you dragon king using my companion i should probably change my companion characters hold on <laughs> <laughs> I just realized my my companion character, my support characters are. Uh, I should probably get rid of this now. She's not the best right now, but I could probably make her better. But I'm uh, probably gonna make her better, so I think she's a decent thing to just throw on there for now, though. Now. What the fuck is? Wait, wait, I just realized. What, what's this for? Star faring companions. Is this just... Oh, it's just showing what characters I own. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look what I have. Man, I'm so cool, guys. I have Serval. <laughs> she, she's free. <laughs> I just realized, what's the point of showing Serval? Look at me, guys. I have Serval. <laughs> she was free. <laughs> Where is it? Ain't it cool? place doesn't seem to have changed much from what I remember. 
At least be able to save a couple no, bucks each month. There you are. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted watching the crowds. Look at the busy flow of people. Life in the overworld carries on as usual, as if nothing has happened. Hmm, we're a little early. I've got an idea. We're gonna play in the fountain? I wanna buy my mom uh. a gift. You're more of an overworld local than I am now. Any suggestions? Uh, flowers, watching a play at the Golden Theater. Oh, to the workshop. Oh, yeah, let's go to the workshop. Workshop? I'm not too oh. sure about that. But let's see if we have other options. Well, Sir Vaughn oh, yeah. could have made us something I cool. There was a forest in the overworld. How about we head over that way? Uh, fine. So long, I almost forgot what flowers smell like. Bus, bus, bu, 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 Bad. I actually have never been here. <laughs> no wonder I didn't say the florist. I don't remember ever being here. Ever summer. <laughs> was that always the name? <sighs> Seems I was too young to get the irony back then. I am as tall as Natasha. Why is the trailblazer so tall? Sorry, I don't mean to sound cynical. Maybe it simply represents the people's hopes up here. Oh, why is she so tall? Now that I think about it, sending flowers is quite the tradition in my family. Mom, Dad, Vash, and I, whenever something good happened, we sent each other flowers to celebrate. <laughs> Do you want to hear a flower story? Flower story? What does that mean? Uh, what was your mother's favorite flower? Each year for their anniversary, my dad would send my mom a bouquet of ball peonies wrapped in red paper. Oh. I heard that ball peonies represent love that knows no end. It does fit their marriage. <laughs> and before it was like, my, my mom, <laughs> what's your dad's favorite flower? He doesn't have one. He hates flowers. <laughs> my father is a famous surgeon in Bellabog. <laughs> Because of his fame, people in medical circles paid great attention to his surgeries. He always had a lot of stress to deal with. And each time he finished a tricky operation, my mom and I would buy a single stem of sunshine and then pin it on the chest pocket of his apron. Sunshines represent warmth and love of light. I'm not very good at flowers. Are these real flowers? <laughs> patients on the verge of death. My dad might have been the only light to penetrate the darkness around them. Oh. What's your... I don't care about Vash's favorite flower. That guy's a fucking weirdo. What's your favorite flower? As an orphan, I never knew my birthday. My adoptive parents took me to the overworld and made the day I joined the family my birthday. That makes sense. And each year on that day, my parents would give me a bouquet of first snow. These can't be real flowers. <laughs> there is no flower called first snow. I refuse to believe it. I only found out later that first snow represents beautiful memories. Oh, my parents gave me a beautiful childhood. And I still haven't had the chance to thank them for that. I see. Shall we go see the florist? Oh, florist. Uh... Artem. Who's Artem? Welcome. Uh, flowers should I pick? Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, that's why you would have to... Oh, that's why I asked it's important. Oh, shit. Um, well, I mean, if the dad likes that, and then she likes that... Well, I mean, that's her favorite, though. So, like, you can't just pick one for the mom and not one for the dad. I mean, will the dad really care if we don't get his favorite flower? Because <laughs> I was like, it might be nice to get the mom's favorite flower, but then I was like, it might make more sense for the... Well, see, if she gets that, though, that could remind them that that's her favorite flower. I don't know. I don't get these. This is, this might work. Oh, first snow, is it? One second. I'll get it ready. No, 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 no. I have a plan, right? We get them the first snow flower. That reminds them of when they got... When they adopted her. See, it's all... <laughs> Perfect. Trust me. Trust there me. There you go. Trust me. Sorry for the wait. It all makes Hope sense. See you again soon. Technically, an alien plant, so it's gonna have its flora and fauna. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I was figuring it could be just random ass flowers that don't actually exist because it's an alien planet. I just want to make sure if they were doing that or if they weren't. All done. 
May I have a look? For snow. Yes. Thank you. It reminds me of carefree childhood days. <laughs> oh, those times were pure and innocent. Just like these petals. It does make me sit here and wonder, like, what if we just got, like, the her, the favorite flower of the brother that died and almost <laughs> and ruined everyone's lives? I knew you'd pick the right flowers. Mom and Dad will be so happy. See, I'm the Let's best at this. Be there soon. Best not to leave old folks waiting. See, I'm the fucking best. I'm the best. Get me to pick out all your flowers, chat. You're getting married. You get me to do it. I got you. The hell? I thought she was over there. <laughs> Why are we waiting over here now? Why was she waiting over here if they're meeting over here? Oh, she did say she was just watching. That she was watching everything. Oh my god, hello. Mom. Hello, old people. <laughs> Is that you? Oh, come here. I like that her parents are just generic NPCs. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Making full-ass models just for this one companion quest would have been a little weird. <laughs> it's been too long, Mom. Too long. <sighs> Sorry. I don't usually get this emotional. How have you been, Mr. Oswell? Thank you so much for taking care of my parents these last two oh, years. Oh, I thought that was her dad. I'm doing fine, Miss <laughs> I was wondering why he looked a little younger. Look at you. You've blossomed into a fine young woman. Such a pity that your father... Dad, I was wondering where he is. Huh? He... It was three years ago, Nat. No need to be sad. Oh! He passed away very peacefully. I guess I have to worry about getting him flowers. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. For ten years, I left you both in the overworld. Mr. Oswell, I'm sorry you had to bear all this weight. Don't be, my dear. It is my honor to look after your parents. It's not your fault that they sealed off the passage between the surface and the underground. Don't be so harsh on yourself, daughter. <laughs> oh my god, if you got her the flowers or dad, look, we dodged a fucking bullet. There were two wrong answers. I have so much to say to you. But, um, there's an urgent matter that needs your help. And I apologize. I wish this were a happier reunion. But there are too many suffering with sickness in the underworld. And you're the only person I can go to for help. Oh, there's no need to apologize, my child. I've heard of your deeds down there. And I know you've saved many lives. Your father? Be proud of you. We have many connections in the medical academy. No matter what you need, be it medicine or data, I should be able to get it for you. Be the doctor you always were, Nat. We have all the time in the world to catch up later. Just teach us with a mess, but. Uh, she's a great mother. That's not time to bring up her father. She's always been there for me. With her help, we'll be able to ease the underworld's medical supply shortage. That's good news for patients who'd lost hope. I really wish I could spend the whole day talking to her about the old days. Sadly, now is not the time. Let's head back to the underworld. We need to spread the good news. Mr. Tasha, one moment, please. Mr. Oswell, I thought you headed back home with Mom. How come... I apologize, Miss Natasha. As a matter of fact, there's something I have to tell you in person. Something that Mom isn't supposed to know? Oh, God. She was a murderer! You haven't changed a bit. Smart and sensitive. The fact of the matter is, 
In the first two years after the passage was closed off, I received many letters from Master Vash. Huh? Letters from Vash? Are you certain, Mr. Oswell? Of course, miss. I recognized his handwriting. You'll see what I mean when you read the letters yourself. Actually, those letters were intended for your eyes only. The delivery address was the underworld, but because of the sealing off of the passageway, the letters were sent back to your old house, to me. I don't understand. Did you not show them to my parents? I... I'm sorry, miss. I opened one of them out of curiosity. Master Vash stressed in the letter that your parents must not know what happened to him. That's why I put the letters in a secure place, waiting to hand them to you when we could meet again. Vash is fucking alive? I... I'm not sure if I did the right thing, Miss Natasha. I just didn't want your parents to feel that their son was so close and yet so far away. Do you have the letters on you, Mr. Oswell? Let me take a look. Of course, of course, here. You can tell it's the young master's handwriting. Hi, Ben. I hope you're doing well. I am, as I stand previously, ever envious of you. You always shown reverent kindness to your patients. I am envious of your inherent compassion. I remember giving a speech on stage when I first started school, waving my arms, advocating for the development of Blizzard immunity. In hindsight, I was a fool. During my final days, I became increasingly stubborn and true to myself. Experiments and ambitions consume my heart, and the patients who are supposed to be in my care are progressively ignored. Natasha, I dare not to beg your forgiveness. Other people didn't regret too much. I have spent the rest of my life as a madman, wallowing in my convictions if you hadn't agreed to my desire for self exile. The cold has revealed to me my arrogance. How can a child grow up in warmth ever begin to comprehend a cure to bitter cold? Thank you for giving me one last chance to discover the answer. I live in abandoned houses under broken roofs and continue my experiments. One step after another, I've made breakthroughs. I'm trembling. Not because of the cold, because I can feel I'm getting closer to the answer I seek. I'd become a pariah, unable to return to civilized nor to face my parents. But I didn't despair, because I discovered the meaning of my existence. I had a feeling I was on the right track. The regions I developed in the underworld have serious flaws. The medication only addresses the issue of origin of organ hypothermia and failure, and it will be caught in a never ending vicious cycle of consumption. Recovery. I should have changed the focus of my study a long time ago and tried to figure out how to raise the temperature of the organs of the body in a controlled manner. Jonathan, thank you very, very much. You helped me find the missing piece in the development of Blizzard and <sighs> The cold has revealed to me my arrogance. How can a child who grew up in warmth ever begin to comprehend a cure to bitter cold? He... <sighs> Vash didn't give up on his research into blizzard immunity, even after he left the city. I live in abandoned houses under broken roofs and continue my experiments. One step after another, Look I've at the fucked up march in the background! <laughs> <laughs> Not because of the cold, but because I can feel I'm getting closer to the answer I seek. If what's in here is true, then then Vash must have built a lab somewhere in the snow plains, and even made progress in his research. But how can that be? Uh, do you believe it? There'd be no point in him lying to me in the letters. Still. It's possible he may have gone completely insane before he started writing them. Possibly. I need to leave the city to recover my brother's research data. Are you willing to come with me? I got nothing else better to do, I guess. Leave the city? You are taking too much risk, Miss Natasha. I know, Mr. Oswell. But I have a hero with me. She saved the underworld. I'm sure she'll protect me, right? Oh, yes. Vash. It's been so many years. Are you still alone in the blizzard? You think you need protection? You have a literal fucking missile launcher. Oh. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm just talking to myself. <sighs> Let's go. It's time to face my past head on. I think it's time for me to face my past head on and finally remove this. <laughs> Picture of March. <laughs> Frantic brushwork. You say it's 100% fa faithful to the likeness to the original. That appealed off the wall. Oh. 
Hey. You know, I feel like they should have tore all of them off, considering the fact that, you know, things are supposed to be good now. <sighs> Such harsh cold. It's hard to imagine anyone surviving in these conditions. <laughs> Unless Blizzard Bro, and Bro, she thinks real. she's cold. I'm not even wearing full-on pants. <sighs> Let's hurry up. We need to find any clues that Bosch may have oh. left behind before both of no! them ice sculptures. That fucker. That was an enemy that saw me. Wink. Oh, he's back! Kill him! Luck of the draw. Freeze and victory. Unworthy. My turn. Wait for the pass. He's back. Kill him. Stand down. Holy shit, that crit bur that fucking crit. Bop. Uh Harmony and Unity. Singing time. Oh my god! What <laughs> <Just laughs> the fucking damage? Oh my god! <laughs> actually, never actually fully been able to use this until now. Reach the end of the story. Welcome to my world, indeed, where everybody dies. <laughs> what a happy song! While you're just like murdering these guys, they're like, "Oh god, help!" No. Gamble. 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 Yeah. Gamble. Lance at the ready. Oh my god, another one? Luck of the draw. Please. And victory. I hope for an end to strife in the Unworthy. Bro, another one with all these trotters. My turn. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Alright, chat. Time to play some more music. Oh, damn. Barely not enough. Alright, chat, take your guesses. Do you guys think that Vash is gonna be okay or do you think he's gonna be like fucking crazy? Personally, I'm a little between. Oh shit. Big guy. We need a strategy. Will of preservation. Oh. Hold up, I wanna get this chest first. Crazy? Think he's gonna be crazy? Oh my lord. <laughs> I like the music still plays even like during like ultimates. And shit. It was like a fucking AMV video. Music's done. I hope for an end to strife in the world. Harmony and unity. Buff. Nowhere to run. <laughs> May song bring us victory. <laughs> Buff again. <laughs> Actually, we already buffed. <laughs> Fuck you. Damn, it's him. It's his turn again. No, he froze her. Jesus. No. Yeah. Oh, this is for my music. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. No, she's down. No. Ah! 
How are you still alive? <laughs> this guy is level 60 too. Can you die now? E. Big chest. Jackpot. Chorus. Jackpot. That's a fucking three star fucking light cone. <laughs> Fuck you mean jackpot. <laughs> I was a little too excited there. I want to bring her back. I have to walk all the way over there though. Uh, we don't need to bring her. We'll be fine. Not like there's going to be an enemy here. Here, this looks like lab equipment. Maybe Vash left it behind. Once Vash hears Robin sing, you'll be you'll be good again. We'll turn him back. Funny when it plays during Archeron's ultimate because it slowed down. <laughs> I slowed down the music corner. Use test tubes, beakers, and other vessels. There's no sign of any sample reagents or lab notes for that matter. Maybe things are too harsh for record. Oh, I know my brother. He's meticulous when it comes to medical experiments. There's no way he wouldn't document his results. Okay, I'm starting. Okay, I, I'm starting to think we're not gonna find him alive. I want to go deeper into the snow plains. Can you press on any further? <sighs> Gosh, the temperature keeps getting lower, but we can't give up halfway. How are you freezing way more than I am? You're wearing way, way more clothes. Cheryl Blaze protects me. It's you I'm worried about. I can warm you up if you'd like. <laughs> Oh, that's very kind of you. Don't you underestimate the leader of wildfire. <sighs> Let's press on then. <sighs> this may not sound like me, but I hope that deity the architects worship can grant us some luck. Don't worry. What? Ah, uh, we got some lab records. Carried out a broad spectrum animal injection experience. Animals all appeared to grow more active, but the dose needs to be adjusted because the two snow finches have been screeching nonstop for three days. I couldn't sleep at all. So that's the right decision for me to come to the snow plants to get the experiment. I do not have to deal with those cretins on the ethics committee, nor do I have to produce those so-called daily reports. Why do I waste time I assume there's two phrases? Can I adequately explain the experiment? Several controlled experiments with mice have been conducted. It appears the, the route of administrative impacts, the rate of medicine absorption. Preliminary findings of the king that inter... Interpretunal, I don't know, say that injection is more effective than subcutaneous injection. Okay, and oral gavage. Shock symptoms were observed in the internet action group, indicating that the injection does dose should be further reduced. Human testing should also be expedited. Okay, hesitant to experiment with these mice because they remind her of the ones Natasha had as a child. Despite the fact that they've been much more productive here, the limited supply and test subjects remain a major issue. There's a guard outpost to the south, perhaps. I could trade with them. Running low on firewood and oil. Uh, injection experiment. A subcutaneous injection was given to a vein on my own right arm. Oh, God. He's using himself now. All right. <laughs> I mean, at least he's not using people. He's just using mice. Some people might have a problem with mice, but I mean, hey. <laughs> mice are mice. And I had a severe allergic response that included vomiting and dizziness within 12 hours. But the medication effect in the human body was confirmed. The following 50 hours, I didn't feel cold. I made a little progress on the report since I've been experiencing numbness in my fingers for the past several days. And I'm wondering if there's a side effect of the subconscious, of the subcutaneous injection. The swelling and rash on my back and arms have subsided significantly. Next time, I'll try a more stable formula. Oh, I mean, his fingers are numb, but overall, he seems pretty decent. Is that all it was there to read, or was there another part of that? It might be in my bookshelf. Uh, was there another part of that, or was that it? We actually got it working. Yeah, okay, it's here. Yeah. Oh, no, no, we, we read part one. Okay, there's another one. Injection experiment number 12. After the final injection spread, I had a significant rejection response in my stomach, as well as an intermediate sudden dip in body temperature after a slow climb. You didn't improve the experiment's stability and possibly try a safer route of administration, such as oral administration. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Lately, I've been practicing writing on my left hand because it appears I can no longer control the muscles in my right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm starting to think that maybe 
um, maybe, j just maybe, um, we probably shouldn't be making, making, uh, making medicine that literally restricts the body from being able to feel <laughs> like cold. Like, like, like th this was never like a. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, don't, don't have such little faith, Chad. He might still be alive. <laughs> I don't think he's alive anymore. I like how earlier some of chat was like, oh yeah, he might be crazy and stuff. And now after reading this, everyone is like, bro is dead. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> there is no way in hell he's alive. <laughs> Question, does this count as him being crazy though? <laughs> I mean, probably. I mean, now if he's writing this, I don't think he's crazy. It just seems like he's very much into the experiment. <laughs> I wouldn't say this counts as crazy. Shouldn't have been so impatient. Coughing and dizziness continue to bother me occasionally. It's been 17 days since the last time I suffered shock symptoms, and the medicine should be much more stable now. I haven't eaten rabbit stew in a long time. I've been craving it, so I'm going to ask the guard captain how to make traps the day after tomorrow. Uh, my body temperature, oral administration. Okay, so he's, he's putting it in orally. <laughs> He's putting it in orally now. He's putting it through his mouth. My body temperature stayed consistent during the 30 hour observation. <laughs> Just wait till oral doesn't work. <laughs> and he's going to stick it in his ass. <laughs> uh, intermittent seems of coughing up blood and asthma. The specific cause is still unknown, but is likely related to drug residues and the high concentration of non-metabolizable substances. Maybe I should try a different targeting agent. I'm not sure if I put the dates correctly because I've been waking up in the middle of the night for days. I just noticed a lack of control in my shoulders and neck requiring me to sleep with a high pillow. But it eventually spread to my brain. Oh, God. No, yeah, he, okay. Pyramid 7. Several guards have provided competent feedback. The medication's effect can now last for nearly five days. My vocal cords appear to have suffered irreversible damage. Therefore, I've been unable to talk. Next week, I'll be sending the most secure batch of regents to the guard outpost. They really appreciate their assistance. If my legs feel better tomorrow, I'll go trim the grass in the back of the house. I shouldn't bother the guards anymore. <laughs> I don't think you should send any of the reagents to anybody. You can't even walk. Do I not have any of these? Or you? Very quiet. Ah! No! Ah! Got him! No escape now, you fuck! I'm okay. Now he will suffer. It's time. Holy shit, he's dead. May song bring us victory. Uh, boost. Tedious. Blade of moonlight. Ba 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 ba. ba. In lunar flame. There we go. That fucker, we got him. We're on a roll. <laughs> We're on a roll. Citizens outside the walls. Hey, you two, stop right there. Hi, right, we're looking for a potential dead man. <laughs> That's a silver main guard. Is he yelling at us? Oh, I'd almost forgotten. No one can leave Balabog without authorization. Looks like we need to talk our way out of this. I got this. Explain your identity. I am quite literally the person who saved your fucking town. I can't say you sound suspicious, but I can't just take your word for it either. I will kill you. <laughs> Captain, look at her necklace. Maybe she's telling the truth. The same as Dr. Vash's. My brother does wear an identical necklace. 
Do you know him? These are definitely the ones who gave him the reagents. Was he really his sister? Dr. Vash saved a lot of my soldiers. Oh shit, really? Saved your soldiers? Wait, the reagents actually worked? Yes. Take a look at the guards patrolling outside the city. All of them are risking their lives, and aside from the monster-related casualties, we lose men to frostbite every year. It actually worked? But thanks to the medicine the doctor leaves us, my soldiers are able to withstand the cold. They can make camps in the snow plains as footholds for our patrols. If it weren't for the doctor, we would have long since frozen. Holy shit. Medicine. Blizzard immunity. We don't know. Dr. Vash is elusive. My squad only met him once, and he didn't seem like the talkative type. He leaves the medicine at specific locations. And on <laughs> he didn't seem like the talkative type. That's because he can't. <laughs> the medicine is extremely potent. A small vial can keep someone warm for a week. Speaking of the doctor, it's been a long time since we last saw him. At least two or three years. <laughs> He's alive and well. Yeah, he's fucking dead. <laughs> so he really did have a breakthrough in the snow plains. Oh, did the medicine have any side effects for you? Assuming not. Side effects. Not that I know of. He tested it on himself so many times. It'd be that we couldn't go back to the city until the effect had worn off. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, if there was a problem. Because the city would be too hot for us. We'd break a sweat just sitting idle. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for the information. We're planning to head deeper into the snow plains to find my brother. Seems like you've made up your mind. I'd really like to send some of my men with you, but we can't leave our posts. Here, take this medicine. If what you two told me is true, I'm sure you're more than capable of handling yourselves out there. Thank you, Captain. We'll take it with us. Yay! Vast we go! Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Zixter. <laughs> you guys are clearly grinding, I can tell. Well, now she can use the medicine so that she won't freeze to death, so that's good. Oh, Vash. 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 Get out of here. So, Vash. So, Vash's medicine actually worked. What? what do you mean that kind of tickles? He hit you with an axe, lady. Look at the draw. Freeze and victory. Unworthy. Lance at the ready. Bop. This is the go. Oh, 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 oh. We're on a roll. <laughs> oh, fucking God, how many of these fucking enemies are there? Now oh, kill them all. Listen to the final song of <gasps> Unworthy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then kill all of them. <laughs> yeah. See, love Shinsha. I want to pull more Xing Shei so I can get her to E6. Oh shit, there's a there's a thing down here. Uh, hold on, that's a big guy over there. That is a big guy. Did you see that? There's something on the monster's back. What is it? The blizzard immunity. Shall we drink it? It's your call. Um. Uh. I. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's no side effects, right? I don't see, but like, I, mm, mm, I still don't trust it. <laughs> why? <laughs> I was going to say, why do I not trust it? And I'm like, well, it's almost as if the guy writing it was talking about he was dying. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's not risk it. But then it's like, what if, like, she freezes and then, like, she gets hurt and, like. Let's not drink it. Oh. Is that literally a part of the. Oh, we have to. 
Well, that ruined the. <laughs> that ruined me having a chance to actually have like a fucking actual story chance. Fine, guess it's part of the thing. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. Oh. Dangerous thoughts tonight. Doors echo. Tedious. We don't need the immunity when we have the power of song. Wait for the tides. He can't beat us with the power of song. Stand down. The power of song will warm me up. You can't stop me. I'm always feeling ni I'm always feeling really nice when there's a song in my heart. All will be revealed in lunar flame. I'm always warm. Listen to the final song of well, uh, he didn't die. <laughs> uh, welcome to my Done. That was my first time seeing you in battle. You've got some moves, don't you? <laughs> no wonder you were able to save the underworld. That wasn't Vash, right? <laughs> like, like the guy we just killed wasn't like Vash. Like, he didn't like turn into a fucking like, like a fragmental monster, right? Like that wasn't him, right? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Natasha, I just found out that my adopted brother is gone and, and, and my, my fucked up brother might still be alive. Zero <laughs> dancing to Robin's all. <laughs> Stell just dancing. Oh, I mean, oh, sorry. I don't want my morbid thoughts to be right. Yeah, I'm like, oh God. Let's have a look over there. My gut tells me we should find something connected to Vash. Now I'm wondering what would have changed if I drank the fucking... I drank the blizzard immunity. These are records of his experiments. Oh god. Oh god. Why is it zooming out? Oh god. It's Vash's handwriting. This must be Why is it zooming out? <laughs> Come have a look. What's wrong? I'm scared. His last experiment was nearly 2 years ago. What happened after that? His notes seem to suggest he was working to improve blizzard immunity. That's how it always fuck it. He couldn't just live with the fact that he got it working. Motherfucker tried to improve it. Oh my god. Brother. Where are you? What happened? Call it a day night. Sorry. I needed to take a moment. <laughs> After seeing the letters Mr. Oswell kept for me, I was... Hoping things might have ended differently. I shouldn't have asked you to come with me to such a dangerous place. Yes, I'm right. I do. I can't forgive him for what he's done. Nor can I say I don't miss him. I... <laughs> Maybe I should feel glad. The medicine might not have been what he wanted it to be, but it came to something. Maybe he found some inner peace. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Let's say the bottom one. <laughs> I'll just say, Jesus Christ, but I mean, yeah, it's not, I mean, true, but like, Jesus. Let's just say the bottom one. People will remember him. He'll remember him as a murderer, as someone whose evil experiments brought great harm to the innocent. Vash doesn't deserve to be remembered as a doctor. I know that very well. Yeah, I don't know why I was saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably should have just said the truth, yeah. But maybe this blizzard immunity can now bring benefit to others, even if it was made by a monster. <sighs> Human beings really are conflicted life forms. I'll take his records and data with me and continue what he started. 
One day the world will see a perfect blizzard immunity. Oh. Before we leave, I'd like to ask for another favor. <laughs> the last one, I promise. Oh. <sighs> that should do. Hope it can withstand the snow. Gotta put an epitaph on there. You're right. <sighs> Let me think. Don't ask if he's worth all Here this. Lies Vash. My brother. <sighs> That'll do. Nothing nice to say. Me. Just here lies Vash. My brother. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> what else can you really say? So long, brother. Hope you don't forget dad's teaching. A doctor does not get to choose his or her patient, my children. Remember, never say no to those who come to you for help. Who buried him? Well, nobody buried him. They're just putting a headstone because they just assume that he's dead. This is typically still... Even if you can't find the body, people still do make like a... Like a... Like, 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 a, like a headstone and stuff. We're still just assuming he's dead somewhere. <laughs> Hey, Natasha can visit the Express. Now I'm curious what would have been different if I actually drank the Blizzard thing. Like, I'm assuming not much would have changed, but I am slightly curious as to w as to what w what would have changed, if anything at all. Like, I'm slightly curious as to what that actually affected. Pre-order me Silent Hill 2? Why? <laughs> Why do you want Silent Hill 2? Get a better game. Like Astro. <laughs> oh shit. I can get a I can get a pass with this. Actually, now that I bought that, can I actually pull? Oh I can. Uh alright, so I've tried out both of these characters and um in their little character trials. And I know she isn't new. I know she has apparently already been in the game. But I also know, at least from what I'm gathering, she seems like one of the like one of the best fucking like support units you can fucking have in this game. <laughs> because she can just like mitigate damage. <laughs> so like I kind of want her, but like I also tried him out. He is pretty strong for a damage dealer. Like fucking his whole like fucking shooting shit and everything and the fact that he can attach a uh his weakness to an enemy is also really good. But like I really want her to be honest. <laughs> Cuz like he's strong, don't get me wrong, but like I feel like I can't go wrong with her almost at all because she quite literally just is the support unit. Also, she's cute. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> but cowboy, though, I know. But like, 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 I'm definitely like, I love, I like how cow, like how Boot Hill looks. Like he looks cool. But like, my brain is telling me that she's the more useful one. <laughs> you know, like he's definitely the cool one that does tons of big old damage. But my brain is telling me like, you're you really need her. <laughs> And the bullet-eating cowboy isn't cute? I mean, he's cute. I mean, I was just, I'm just, I'm gonna go for her. Like, something's telling me I should probably, like, the smart thing to do would be to go for her. Boot Hill looks like he's pretty good in pretty specific situations. That, too, honestly, Boot Hill does seem kind of specific. Even though he also is kind of not in the same way, because he can add a weakness in case he... I would like to point out that I don't actually have a hook and that I'd actually be kind of okay with pulling hook out of my four stars. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I know the game's just going to keep giving me Pella and Luca and I'm going to want to kill somebody. Please just give me hook. <laughs> They're going to keep giving me fucking Luca and fucking johnson <laughs> now my luca's e2 <laughs> actually i think he's e1 i don't think i ever pulled luca before 
Okay, he's E1 now. Now, when Luca takes action, if the target enemy is bleeding, increases damage dealt by 15%. That's not bad. Nice, let's go. Nice, let's go. The skillet's an enemy with a physical weakness. Game one stack. Oh, well. Also, uh, we got a, one of those. Uh, was this one? No, um, it was one with like the little kid. Uh, this one. This was actually marches that we gave her. Increases the wearer's defense by 16% for every on-field character that has a shield. Yeah, we can superimpose this now. But unlock it then. There you go. Now it increases for 24% for every on-field character that has a shield. Nice. Concert for two. Well, guys, I can't believe that's it for her quest. You know, I really don't think Natasha's gonna have another companion quest. I think that's it. Where to now? Uh, okay, I said that was like a that was like a joke. Did she not? She didn't email me. Wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What? What? There's, there, there's like another one, right? What? 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 There's like there's another there, there's like another one, right? Wait, what? Is, is that it? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Well, yeah, no, wait, that's it. What the fuck? Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, no, she's done. <laughs> oh. Huh. <laughs> well, okay then. Well, I mean, as much as I do want to start Mo Kushal. I should probably finish. Uh, should probably finish the last one in the Gapard and Serval quests, and then probably do some of the story quests too. And then we'll probably do the Mo Kushal one. Also, because this gives a lot. Head to the museum. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've been doing the museum stuff. What does this have to do with the museum? We beat the shit out of Concolia last time in her quest. <laughs> I was like, what does this have to do with the museum? So, Chad, how do you guys feel about the museum gameplay? Welcome to the museum. Chad, how do you feel about museum management? You guys like this? You guys like sitting here and putting stuff, putting, putting people places? Going, go, 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 going, wee! <laughs> I like it. I think the only thing I like about it is seeing things go up. <laughs> seeing numbers go up fills me. Fills me with joy. But I will be lying if I said it was, like, interesting to do. Because, um, it, it's not. <laughs> really. Definitely a bit boring. I should have just did this all stream. <laughs> just, just this. Oh, shit. Blaine, you're fucking slacking, bro. Need some more visitor appeal. Quick. Get Julian in there. Oh shit, we still can't we can't reach S's? No. Julian only gives me a fucking I was gonna say get rid of Serval, but there's no one better than Serval that can handle this. Serval's like the best fucking one. Someone better than Pella. Pe Pella only gives 30. Hold up, wait, maybe. There's no one has any higher appeal than Pella though. Damn it! Now we're stuck at A's! No! Everyone's gonna think we're bad. <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta recruit somebody. Who can we recruit? Ah, damn! We can't recruit anybody. Damn it! Did I see Pellas Raw with a five-star background? This might be four stars. <laughs> fuck you, J fuck you, chat. This is the rest of the stream. It's just us doing this. Lost exhibit queue. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. They're making me do lost exhibit stuff now. Never mind. Never. Oh, I can get these, but I can get new recruits. I don't want to do this. No. Back to the actual story. Stop. No. I'm not fucking sitting here clicking buttons. <sighs> I can't control myself. <laughs> 
Yeah, what do you need me to get? I guess I'll show up people who don't actually know anything about this side quest. So, this is what you do. You do add stuff until somebody's like, Oh, hello there. Can you find me something? And then you go to go find them something. You do the little number stuff until they're eventually told to go find something. And then you get up and you go find it. Usually it's some area that's kind of in dangerous like this. You go all the way over here. You find it. Who the fuck? <laughs> forgot the MC once flirted with the reception lady. I also forgot that. I don't remember clicking any options to flirt with the reception lady. Unless you're thinking of the hotel receptionist lady, because then I might remember that. I fucking hate these guys who get barriers when you fight them. It takes so long to kill them. So fucking lo Stop! Stop turning on your fucking barriers. Oh my god. This. Proc the explosion. There. All will be revealed. Die! In lunar flame. Choose your strike. <laughs> Where was the museum leak? Because I picked the flirt option? Oh, I don't know if I picked the flirt option. I might have. I just forgot. That does sound like something I would pick. Beat the Magnaflow puzzle? Oh. Oh, I already found the thing. Oh. What? Wait! I want to get that chest! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it. So then you go over to this guy and he's like, oh yes, you found the thing. Oh yes, quite indeed. Put it in the hall. And then you go over and then you put it in the hall. And then you're like, I put it in the hall. And then you put it on display, and then there you go. And then you get, you get a thing, and then there you go. That is like a majority of what this fucking museum side quest is. Welcome. What this museum museum management stuff is. It's literally just this. And you only get like five fucking crystals half the time, too. And five stellar jades. Cunning child? Oh, my. Or Rossi. I get both of them. Cunning child is kind of going crazy with those fucking those stats. Hold up, cunning child might be no. I want to replace them. No, curse you! I wanted to use cunning child. No, I don't want to do that right. I'm actually not doing that right now. I'm gonna fucking do that later. I want to see how much buffs cunning child will give me. Cunning child might be what I need. Fuck you, Julian. It's time for cunning child. You still get a beat. Fuck, cunning child. You suck. Oh yeah. See, it's because he don't have the. He doesn't have the appeal. Like cunning child does. You see, this gives a bunch of that, but we don't have a lot of visitor appeal. Wait, what if we put him with cunning child? Oh, oh no, not good enough. Julian still might be our best bet. Wait, what if with Cunning Child, and then I go for, I increase that. But now we need to increase that. Fuck. All right, I'm doing this later. Clearly things are going wrong. Uh, <laughs> the request, right? Yeah, the actual quest. We are talking about Cunning Child. It's like they're a Yu-Gi-Oh card. They might as well be. All right, there's a quest here, right? Yeah, hello. <sighs> there's plenty of precious stuff in here. You aren't looking for treasure in the museum while pretending to volunteer, right? No, I'm not. Oh, what's this gadget? This monitor and this keyboard. Is it an automaton remote control terminal? See, there's this piece of paper here. It says, Pena Sergeyevna. Is that the owner's name? Sounds a bit familiar. These are all relics, sis. Please don't touch them. What if you break something? 
She's literally, we hired her to be a fucking volunteer. Why would she break anything? <laughs> she should be professional. Oh, we were just waiting for you. Long time no see. I wanted to talk about this in our chat group, but Sis won't have it. I'm sorry you had to run all the way out here. Can't believe guys couldn't just talk about this in a group chat. Actually, I want to talk to you about our little links. Who? Links? She's our little sister, the youngest child of the Landau family. I've never met this person. She just came back from a scientific exploration on the snow plains. There's three of you? <laughs> but she seems really out of it. Almost like she's worried about something. And she won't tell us what happened. We're really worried and want to help. But we don't know where to start. The last time I saw her, she was preparing to meet someone on God the snow plains. damn, how could your parents have she three of you? She asked for a stove set from me. But no matter how Japard and I asked and probed, Link simply refused to tell us who she was going to meet. Such a failure of a sister. That's a little harsh. So that's why Japard and I came up with this idea. We'd like you to help us find out what's going on. One more thing. Don't let her discover you. Otherwise, she'll probably get upset with us. It's Thank me. You. We're worried about her meeting strangers. So my the next so I help them with all of their issues, and the next thing we do is to stalk their little sister. She's used to doing research alone in the snow plains, and we've always believed she can protect herself. But this is different. I'm worried. Oh right, if you're gonna go find Lucy, you gotta know what she looks like. I've never met this person. They clearly didn't do a good job with the first two. I mean, look at that light cone. Yeah, that is true. Don't worry, she stands out. She's blonde like us and um, quite short. She's always wearing a white fur hat. If I'm right, she should be waiting for someone at the city exit. She's quite short. Wait, how old is she? Is she not like a We're child? Our dearest baby sister in your hands this time. Let us know immediately if anything happens. Because we're saying baby sister, right? And like, Serval is as old as Cocolia. And Cocolia is as old to be- And old Cocolia is old enough to be a mother. So that means Serval's old enough to be a mother. So, and Gapard, Gapard is also younger than Serval. And looking at the light cone, Gapard is like only slightly younger than Serval. So, like, how old- Lynx has to at least just be like a teenager then, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, just trying to do, like, some very rough estimations here. She has to be, like, at least, like, a teenager. Thank you. At <laughs> what age do their parents have links? That is a good question, also. I guess I can go find out where she is. I'm gonna go meet Lynx. Does menopause work different here? <laughs> this is a this is a different world. All right. So, oh yeah, she's just over there. All right. Yeah, cuz I, I guess we could see how old she is. Judging by how she acts. Is that her? That's a car. I'm assuming that's Lynx right there. Huh? That girl over there. Seems like she fits Serval's description. That must be Lynx. Let's hide here and observe her now. I like her little hat. Oh. Lynxie, I'm here. Oh, she's talking to Pella. Let's go. She's got a little backpack. She has to be like young, right? Lynx is somewhat a whole generation behind the other siblings. But I was like, she has to be like at least like semi child child. From the administrative district to the snow plains. So much snow. Even in the northern mountains, it wasn't like this. <laughs> Why would I talk? They know. Do we get enough warm clothes? Well, the snow is supposed to get heavier later in the day. Have you got enough warm clothes? Yep. I brought everything you told me to, all thanks to your camping guide. Wait, what? Am I picking Lynx's options? Speaking what? Which, according to the guide, 
the first thing we need to do is find a good place to set up camp, right? Flat, dry, sheltered, facing the sun, high elevation. Oh, you remembered all that? I expected no less from you. But it's gonna be hard finding a place that fits those criteria. Well, we'll just keep moving and see. The place has to be convenient enough for us to observe the Aurora, too. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. I'll leave it to you, then. I'm gonna follow right behind you. And I'm also going to follow right behind... Oh! Sheltered, facing the sun. I actually control them. Okay. We need to be able to observe the Aurora. And this is going to be difficult. This is neat. I actually can play as different character. has a good view. It'll be easy to watch the Aurora. Mm, nope. Uh, the wind blows strongly through here. And there are signs of direwolf activity. It'd be too dangerous to make camp. I see. Then let's keep moving. Oh my god, that thing's level 60. How strong is Lynx? I don't think I want to fight that. They might die. Lynx, how strong are you? The thing's red named. I don't think Lynx is strong enough. Lynx, please avoid that. Hmm. This area is sheltered and facing the sun. Plus, it's flat ground. But, mm, but there are cliffs all around. Oh, we'll be in trouble if there's a landslide or a rockfall. Also, there isn't much of a view. Oh, I remember a good place that's not too far from here. Follow me. Huh? Okay. Uh, ah! Am I supposed to fight these guys? I don't think I can. I don't think I should. But I kind of want to try. Man, Link's got this, bro. I don't think Link's has this. <laughs> what does Link's even do? They have a pick of some sort. What is this? Survival response to a single ally increases their max HP and restores their HP. Ooh, okay. And just deals quantum damage. Okay. Lynx is strong enough. Enemy targets detected. All right, so the, the name thing isn't actually a big deal. Lynx can fight. Because I was about to say, like, and they... I was like, are they low-leveled? We're at a dead end. <laughs> Lynxy, are you sure this is the place? Hmm. Yep. This is the path to Kandor Valley. There are low cliffs on both sides, but I cleared all the monsters here a while ago. Damn. You should be safe and sound. Lynx kind of goes hard. Also, the mountain wind during this season usually comes from the north. Which is another reason why we couldn't camp on that previous slope. <sighs> These two hills can block the snowplane scales for us. I never even noticed. Huh. Camping is a complicated science. Well, not really. But the environment outside of Bellabog is very tough. If the weather here was as good as inside the city, well, then we could have camped anywhere. That's true. I hope that becomes a reality one day. Someday. Only problem is the game gets old enough they just make bollabog like summer. Are you sure we'll be able to watch the Aurora? <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. Let's get the tent ready then go find our dinner. Sure. I can help out with the tent. I memorized that section in the camping guide. Okay. Then I'll go set up the stove. Oh, if you have any questions, just ask me. Oh. Uh -huh. Isn't the heater working? Ugh, darn. Doesn't seem like an easy fix. <sighs> All right. I'll ask Pela. Yeah, it's Pela. Keep calling her Pela. Pela. Weird. That's what the guide says. Hey, Lindsay. Come and have a look at this. I did everything according to the guide, but the tent's still wobbly. Hmm. Uh, let me have a check. 
Hurricane Pulse. Check. Bell Pulse. Check. We're watching a Disney Channel check. original movie right now. Ah, it's the pegs. Not the pegs. The pegs. I forgot to mention, thick snow needs leaded iron pegs. Got it. It's definitely sturdier now. Nice job, Lucy. <laughs> it's your kind. But my oversight. Uh, I've got a question, too. Can you take a look at this stove? I think it's broken. Huh? Sure, let me take a look. Hmm. This is nice. The geomero fuel activation component probably stopped working. Do you have a spare one? <sighs> no. Uh, Serval told me this was a brand new stove. Oh my god, Serval just messing up again. What a failure of a sister, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got this stove from Serval. <laughs> Any reason why Serval and Judge Apart wanted us to crash Link's first date? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, what's going on here? That's okay. These components are really common. Maybe we can find a spare one in the ruins around here. You take it easy. I'll see if I can find one. I hope this isn't a first date. This would be the worst first date. Imagine your first date being fucking out in the middle of nowhere in the fucking snow. <laughs> <laughs> most most common worst dates are like them they took you to fucking they took you to a bad restaurant or something uh, I'll come with you <laughs> finding food is easy but finding that component is gonna be hard we'll do our best if we can't find one we'll just do what you're I wish we could like see like Stell fun. like slightly like behind us sometimes or something like just <laughs> staring <laughs> like whoa and like hiding <laughs> Spare stove parts in the ruin. Let me see. Huh. Don't tell me you want to crawl in there. Of course I do. It's not like the stuff we need is gonna come crawling out. Ew. Uh, in that case, be careful. <sighs> uh, did you find anything? I didn't find any components, but I got this. I don't know if we can still eat it. Ain't this Vash's little happy yeah, house, I was to say. Mm -hmm. Guys, better look out. It hasn't decayed. <laughs> it's edible. Don't eat any of that shit from his reagents. No! Really? <laughs> it's all thanks to the Eternal Freeze. We can eat raw fish from 700 years ago. 700? Ew. <laughs> I still wouldn't try that. I got Fu Xuan. Nice. He's a really good support. I can't change character currently. Well, fuck it. <laughs> Just fucking shoot that guy. Commencing support. What does your ult do? He spells one debuff from all allies and restores their HP. Okay, Lynx is a, is a support. And I kind of already figured, but now I definitely know. Lynx is a support. Gotta stop the bleeding. Commencing research. Links also doesn't do that much fucking damage. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Not good. Doesn't it to travel far away? Oh my god, Dr. Mario! This fucking <laughs> this is Vash's grave. <laughs> There's something in the snow drift. Uh, I can do the digging. You don't need to. Come on, camping is about teamwork. Let me have a try. 
Oh, no dig it up. <laughs> Some, is this a uh, radish? Ah, yep. That's a snow radish. They're really sweet and tasty. Uh, actually, no. This Fun fact, none of the trio radish. work well together. Well, I mean, I can see people being able to run Serval and Gapard together. Huh? This is a rabbit? Yep. They look really the Serval is just what, damage? I was like, and Gapard is just shielding, like so like I could see that working. He looks like the radish bit. When they hibernate, they cover themselves with dirt, just like real radishes. I see. In that case, please tell me we can put it back. Yeah, it's better for the Snow Plains ecosystem. <laughs> you know, playing Natasha's and coming back to this will probably was the best idea. <laughs> Definitely gives a really weird fucking feeling. We have the upper hand. <gasps> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. They can fuck you guys if they don't have much synergy together. I mean, I guess that's fair enough, I suppose. Because what doesn't? Because doesn't um, Serval's thing work well with like activating lightning or something? Like, I would assume you'd want Serval to be with other characters who can proc lightning, because I think Serval's ult makes it that lightning, I think. It can, I think it can increases the dot Maybe damage of it or something. If I recall correctly. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, don't worry about it, Lucy. I'll manage. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I could already tell why Lynx and Japard wouldn't work together. Because yeah, having shields and a heal feel kind of... did that. You know, they would both be doing the exact same job. Are these sausages? It was just, I was mostly thinking about what Serval. Sure looked like it. And they were probably placed here not long ago. Could it be... Bellabog Caveman's food? B Bellabog Caveman? Finally. <gasps> Bellabar cave. The legendary creature. I just like that it just to me oh, this just seems like they're finding all the shit that Vash used. <laughs> they're finding his food. Activities are very mysterious, and no one in Bellabar can find concrete evidence of its existence. Well, I've only chanced upon it a few times myself. Whenever I tried to take a photo of it, it had already run away. Oh, I feel like. These sausages might constitute a great Bellabogian scientific discovery. Let's bring them back with us. Uh, uh hold on. There are some letters here. Moon count is grave robbing, something, right? Post something. Uh, I can't read the rest, but. Oh, Sa Sambo? Guess it can't be the Bellabog caveman then. Do cavemen need They find Sambo's food? Ah. <sighs> I'm sure you'll get concrete proof one day. Let's I like to think that I like to think that Sampo's a caveman, so you know. I think that I like that. I'd call this a mission success. Huh? You found something? There's food in here. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna pry it open. More food. <laughs> Uh, what exactly are... Oh, these are mimic snow slugs. They can change their appearance to match the external environment. <laughs> They're really cute. Yeah, but... We should... What fuck was that noise? No, no. These slugs taste really good once they've been roasted. They kind of taste like... Um, snow mice? Ew. That sounds even less appetizing. <laughs> Are you eating mice? Well, I think we've searched through everything here. Let's head back, Pela. <sighs> okay. I feel bad that we didn't find a spare component. Oh, it's fine. We'll just light a fire with Geomero. Let's go back and have some food. Pela? Hmm? What's up? We don't really need that um, stove to cook. Is he? I know. Is he eating our food? <laughs> what, try to fix this oh, he's, is he cold? Uh, Do you, I think 
there's something in the camp. Oh, okay, I was about to say, he's a part of the quest. Linksy, wait. That thing in the camp is a dangerous fragmentum That's the trotter. They can't do damage. Uh, I see it too, but it doesn't seem aggressive. And it's all chubby and cute. Don't be fooled by its appearance. About 20% of our silver main guard fragmentum losses are a result of chasing this creature. <laughs> we haven't figured out everything about it yet. There's one thing we're sure of. They have the power to control people. They do? You need to be careful. <laughs> well, what? But, but this little buddy gave me something good last time. And it didn't hurt me. And that must be the first step in their mind control process. What? You were lucky. <laughs> Is she saying it because people are chasing it for fucking gems? We should defeat it just to be safe. Fragmentum. Hmm? I didn't even get to take a photo of it last time. Now's a good chance. Can I at least take a picture, Pila? That's also my job as a researcher. I understand, but the sound of the shutter and the camera bolts might <laughs> Dudes are dying to this thing. I'm assuming it's like leading uh, them to other enemies. It, it might be looking for an opportunity to attack. I don't think it can. Oh my god, look out, it's gonna attack! It Beard. disappeared. Yeah, that's the nature of the well, that's my conclusion from my long term observations. As for those lost guards, maybe they were chasing these little creatures and couldn't find their way back. Okay, yeah, so it's just, it's just Pela thinking they had mind hey, control. Uh, don't be sorry, it pays to be careful. <laughs> anyway, crisis resolved. We can now make some food. What? Our little buddy seems to have dropped something. Oh, did he drop stellar gems? Huh? Awesome, Linksy! Look, it's a Geomero activation component. I never thought we'd find one. That's here. not what gems. You, did you find anything good? Huh? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just some old stuff. It's it's great we finally found the component. Go fix the stove. Huh? Linksy, is something the matter? Nope. Nope. Uh, that's all your imagination. Oh, uh, why don't you take a break? I'll have a look at this stove. I have no idea why Linksy's acting weird. I couldn't figure out the problem at all. No magic here. Just a trick or two I learned from Serva. My sister. Yep, that's her. Uh, what's the matter? Ah, uh, uh, nothing. Just, you know, sometimes I'm a bit jealous of Serva, you know? She knows everything. <laughs> Same as you, then. What? I'm serious. Outdoor explorer, Aww. mechanic, they're both experts in their field, right? I think you two are awesome. Not Japard, though. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it wouldn't be hard for you to get her to teach you something. You're her sister. She'd be happy to teach you. <laughs> well, you say that, but, uh... Yeah, never mind. It's getting late. Let's cook something. That's my favorite part! Wait, no. My favorite part is watching the Aurora. Aurora Borealis? Uh, anyways, let's take a look at what ingredients we have. Every ingredient has its own effect, and combining them will create unexpected results. Ooh, what kind of effects are they gonna so do? Do you want to know Pella's full name? What's her let's full name? Give it a try. Or Pella's full name? All right, um, do not put in the snow slugs. Please put in the salmon slices. Ah, 700-year-old raw fish. You don't have to emphasize the 700 years part, Mina. Well, the older, the rarer. 
Plus, you have to enter that rune for it. <laughs> Even more special. You don't have to emphasize that either. Well, then let's just say it'll be tonight's main course. <laughs> hmm, time to show you my culinary skills. Um, why don't I cook tonight? You can take a break. Oh, it's no problem. Leave it to me. <laughs> Ta da! Frost beef salmon bread is ready. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> it smells so good. I'm going to dig in. Don't have amazing energy to enjoy a meal with your fellow campers. I'm so full. <sighs> Guess now we just wait for the light show. For the Aurora. The Aurora should start soon. Before that, let's just chat. Pela, why did you suddenly want to come camping? Aren't you always saying how you just want to lie in bed when you get off work? Ah, sorry. I hope this trip didn't surprise you. No, no. I mean, sure, I'm not the most sociable of people, but I love camping with a good friend. I had a great time. It's been a lot of fun. Hmm. Oh, you're always like this. Even on this camping trip. Keep trying to do things. You really don't need to. Just leave it to me. Camping is about relaxing. No need to be so tense. I know. It's just, I was really getting into the camping. I felt like I finally got around to doing the things I always wanted to. <laughs> so all those comics you drew for the Tales series didn't count? The Tales series? <laughs> I have to hide those from other people. I get a little embarrassed. Oh, and you care about other people's opinions too much. I suppose. I wish I could be more like you. Oh, I... I'm not as cool as you think. <laughs> I don't know how to handle my brother and sister. They keep treating me as a kid. They're both really capable and awesome people. Which is why I feel really pressured when I'm with them. <sighs> I'm already a grown-up. I have the capacity to do what I want to do. Why can't they just stop worrying and let me do what I want? That's how families are. Ah, sorry, I... Shouldn't talk nope. about this. My mouse is just getting carried away. <laughs> it's okay. It's not like I even know what she looked like. Oh. So, when's the Aurora due? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Lynx. There are monsters coming. <laughs> We've just been behind shit this entire time. Howdy! Oh, oh shit! I'm. Oh no! I. Uh, this is my wrong pants. I brought my baseball bat. <laughs> this is not good. I think I took off all my light cones on this version of myself. Ah oh, shit! Not good. Enemy targets detected. Really should have left some relics on this version just in case the game would ever do this again. <laughs> I didn't die. Let's go. Yeah. I actually do kind of miss the baseball bat, though. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> gonna be honest, I did kind of miss the baseball bat. Especially, rules, rules are made, are to, made be to be broken. Bah! Commencing Enemy targets detected. I did miss being the galactic baseballer. Thanks 
for the support. <gasps> Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a double counter attack. Let's go. Yeah. Bitch. We have the upper hand. Ready for another? <laughs> This is just reminding me that I really need to make sure that fucking. I really need to make sure that baseballer fucking. My baseballer form has relics on at all times. I wish. I do wish the baseball one was better, though. Rules are made, are made to, be to be broken. broken. <laughs> I wish they. I wish, I, wish, I wish physical trailblazer wasn't as bad. Including me. They were probably attracted by the stove. The Celeron crisis is over. Why are there still so many monsters? Takes time for them to influence the fade. Uh, I see. Wait, where did you come from all of a sudden? <laughs> I live in the fragmentum. Who is this? Um, this is the Trailblazer, the savior of Bellabog. And I've saved you. Now I must be off. Trailblaze away. Saving us, oh, not to mention Bellabog. You're welcome. Well, so, what's a big hero like you doing out here? Um, don't, don't, don't just tell the truth. <laughs> um, er. <laughs> well, never mind. I can take a guess. Serval and Japard sent you to protect us, right? Maybe. <laughs> uh, they're always like this. It's impossible to get some private time as their younger sister. Uh, I didn't exactly see eye to eye with them. And that's how families are. Yeah. Hold on. Isn't that what I just said? Well, yes. I just was saying it was a good quote. Uh, all right, all right. It's all because Serval and Japard are worried ones. Besides, you did save us. In Japard and Serval's defense, you are a support character. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't do a lot of damage. <laughs> Without Pela, you would die. <laughs> Since you followed us all the way here, you probably know why we're out camping today. So stay and watch the Aurora with us. Okay. It's about time for it to appear. Hey, Khaleesi, look! <sighs> Come this way. Oh, oh my God, chat. Aurora Borealis at this time of year in this part of the country, entirely localized in this part of Bellabog. <laughs> wow. This is the largest Aurora since no way. I can't believe we unlocked the CG chat. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we played the visual novel. We unlocked the CG. Really lucky. So awesome. I got to taste Lucy's cooking and see Let's go. This snow plains adventure was the best. You look really happy. Uh huh? Uh, me? <laughs> I'm not that happy. I, uh, <laughs> what I mean is. Uh... Also, someone said the voice actor for Pale is the voice actor for Haru in Persona 5. And honestly, the fact that you said that, I do not know how I did not pick up on that sooner. Because <laughs> now I'm like, holy shit, that just is Haru. What the fuck? Why did I not never think about this? Links will be upset. Uh huh? I, I hope not. <sighs> it's okay. I won't be sad. I understand what Pela really feels. <sighs> it was a great experience. Thanks to you, Linksy. Not to mention you. Hello. Oh yeah, Zero. Pela and Lynx kissed off screen, by the way. Source, I'm John Hoyoverse. <laughs> um, how would... Um, I have a question, John Hoyoverse. If they did kiss off screen, why would Pela be... Why would Pela then say she didn't have a nice time? Why would she be so flustered to say she had a nice time? That'd be a little weird to say that to somebody. 
<laughs> Magic kissing somebody. They're like, I didn't have a nice time. You're like, oh. <laughs> well, damn. Anyway, what now? Back home? Want to go out for a midnight snack later? Midnight snack? What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, we can. I heard a pretty good steak place opened up. St in the steak is not a snack. <laughs> we can go try it out together. <laughs> Sounds good. That's settled then. Let's part ways for now and rendezvous later tonight. Well, she did it because you ruined their date. <laughs> Would you look at that? I gotta oh, look at that. I gotta go not write in gay characters. John Hoyle versus the world. <laughs> Would you look at that? I gotta write more female friendships. <laughs> John Hoyleverse away! <laughs> How many damn close female friendships are in this game? What's up? All I'm saying is, I understand that I, it's like I'm not. I'm, I understand that you know girls can be friends. Obviously, you know this is true. However, game, you have like. Three of these. You have fucking Branya and Zila. You got fucking Kakolia and Serval. And you got Pela and Lynx. One of these three ain't straight. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna have to pick one game. One of these three are not straight. <laughs> this is for you. All right, it's them. <laughs> It's them. It's them. It's them. She's giving her gifts. It's them. <laughs> what is this? It's them. I refuse. I found this on the ground before you fixed the stove. I guess that fragmentum creature dropped it. I think it might be best if you check it out yourself. Anya Sergeyevna. I see. Thank you, Mixi. Let's meet up here later tonight. I better get going. <laughs> the fun part is one of them is canon, and we're not telling you which. I mean, I don't know. Figure out which one. I mean, Bronya and Zila haven't talked to each other since me since me leaving, so theirs feels like it's not one of the canon ones. <laughs> Bronya and Zila's might have been a might have been just me being a little haha -ha funny with it, but I don't know if they actually are the one that's been put. Kakoli and Serval definitely feel like they were fucking gay. <laughs> it's like, ah, <laughs> oh, dude, Kakoli and Serval definitely feel like that shit was they, they they were gay, for sure. The Lynx and Pella also give off that vibe, also. The only one I could definitely potentially see being friends is like Branya and Zila, despite our jokes with them a lot. It's like, sure. Just smile and wave, chat. Smile and wave. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a question. Do I figure out if one of these is canon, like as I play the game, or like, is there like art or something that like I just don't know? It can't be Branya and Zila, because I don't fuck up. I gotta figure that out as I play the game. I'm not even. There's no more story for Yarlo. Man, it's gonna be fucking me. <laughs> then me. Let's <laughs> go with that thing we talked about before. It's done for now. <laughs> are you are you two at the workshop? I'll come to talk to you in person. Texting might not be enough. <laughs> Part and serve all at the workshop. Pranya and Zeal are in every Ankai universe. Oh no, I just have to sit here and think about it. Cause I'm like, I, it's like all of the, because it's, they seem like, it's like if I have to pick which one is gay, it's gotta be one of them. I don't know. If I had to pick one of them being gay out of the three, it's probably Lynx and Pela. talking about you. How was it with Lynx? <sighs> so, that stranger was Pela. What can I say? Sounds like a Lynxy expedition, all right. Make it angry, right? So, mission accomplished. Thank you for being around for this. 
Japard was too anxious to sleep. There was a lesbian kiss of one of the people you mentioned, not say wait, one of the three groups that What? <laughs> How do I find out about this? <laughs> How do I find this info? <laughs> I you're exaggerating. As for how we'll communicate with Linksy in the future, we'll have to have a good think about it. You really have uh, to. Uh, what do you mean, uh? How do I find out about this? Do I just play the game? Like, like where, do, where, do, where do I go? Is there a place I have to go? Do I find like a diary of some sort? What do you want, Links? How's it going with you? Uh, not done yet. All right. <laughs> Am I allowed to share it? I, is it something I can obtain in this game or no? No? Oh. <laughs> so that means it's fucking information that's probably like put on a wait well like a fucking promotional art or promotional info. Yep. Now let's wait for Pela together. I think she's looking over the contents of that floppy disk. Oh, let's give her some time. The floppy disk. Mm, I don't know the exact details, but mm, I'm guessing you don't know about Pela's mother, right? Tanya Sergey Ivanov was. Bellabog's greatest outdoor explorer passed away 16 years ago. Doesn't She's famous matter. in Bellabog. You might have heard other people mention her in past. Anyway, well, something else happened 16 years ago. Pela was born. Wait, what? Oh. Yes. They say that despite her pregnancy, Madame Pena insisted on staying at the Snow Plains camp. She couldn't go to the front lines, but she was able to handle administrative duties. Then, finally, the day of Pela's birth arrived. Tragically, there were complications. Other serious incidents occurred that day. The exploration team ran into a blizzard and the camp lost contact with the outside world. No one knew what to do. The Hoyo's official manga site? What? Send me the manga! <laughs> <laughs> Send a link to the manga. I'll look at it right now. <laughs> uh, the floppy disk. If the old research team members were telling the truth, it was something Madame Pena left behind. Let me see it with my own eyes. <sighs> no. Madame Pena asked a colleague to take her terminal and floppy disk back to Bellabog. She said they contained a treasure for Pela. She said that once Pela was older, she'd be able to understand the contents. <sighs> but that colleague was attacked by fragmentum creatures on his way back to the city. During the attack, he dropped the floppy disk in confusion, only managing to bring back the terminal. Apart from Madame Pena, nobody knew what the floppy disk contained. They say she left Pela many letters. Oh. From the moment she knew she was pregnant, oh. the day of Pela's birth. <laughs> Never missing a day. I'm fine. <sighs> There's somewhere I want to go. Will you come too? The workshop. I'll wait for you there. 
Well, that's depressing. <laughs> See what happens, chat. We're too busy talking about Yuri. <laughs> Dixter, may you whisper to me so I can send the link to the gay kids? <laughs> Hold up. I'll turn links off real quick, Dragon King, so you can send it. There you go. Links are off. You can send it. back uh what's with the red eyes did something happen japard you make it obvious welcome home linksy <clears throat> oh it's okay it's okay seems like a lot went down in the snow plains thanks again for your help i think we need a little private time see you soon i should give them some time together I think we all could use some time together. Complete. And now Pela can join. Now Lynx can join. Oh, Pela. What's wrong? Okay. Wait, isn't Lynx the girl who shows up on the travel log? That was this one. Yeah, camping in the snow. I guess she's got a different one. Complete the mission, Yushi's Clever Decor, and clear Pure Fiction Stage 2. Huh. Look at that. Okay. So what's this about Yuri? <laughs> Okay, what the hell is this? What? What is this? Oh my god. And here, you know, I should have I should have known they were the gay ones. I, I should have known this whole time. Ah, this is in Honkai Impact. Right, that's what Steel was talking about. He said a lot of characters from certain Honkai games. He was like a lot of them are like the same in different um in different games. I'm assuming with different roles, if I had to guess. I can't wait to see this and be completely confused as to what the fuck I'm looking at. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, there's Silver Wolf. There's Kakolia. Oh, that's Branya. Wait. Yeah, that's Branya. That's a Silver Wolf. This is so weird. <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, fucking shit's gonna fuck What's going on? I guess there is some appeal to, like, having, like, all of, like, having, like, the same characters, but in, like, similar roles. I don't know who this is. Whoever is scaring the shit out of Zila. The 
fuck was that? Who's that? Who is this weird child? Coca-Cola's orphanage. Alice Coca-Cola's orphanage in here. Damn, Honka Impact going crazy. <laughs> Hey, that's the scythe. <laughs> nice to know that. Tra oh, it's nice that the scythe transcends. <laughs> Wait, that's Silver Wolf's little bandana thing. What is going on? <laughs> I'm supposed to be confused. I'm just going to accept it because I have not played this game. So, you know, and I don't want to confuse my own the, the lore. I'm already trying to learn from Star Rail. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so Honkai Impact, Branya and Zila have kissed. Okay. But well, but Star Rail, Zila and uh, and Branya haven't kissed yet. <laughs> mm, I'm waiting. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Honkai Impact, Zila and Branya have kissed, but Star Rail, Branya and Zila have not kissed. Okay, okay. <laughs> yet, yes, I was like, mm, they haven't done it. Mm. Mm. Gotta save it for the anniversary. Ah, yes. The special Zila character. The special Zila character release where she just kisses Branya. That was an official video. Yeah, that was official. That was from the Honkai Impact YouTube channel. This is Branya and Zila's story. Wait, yeah, wait. The girl with the stigma. The silver wolf of the Arals. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what is Silver Wolf? What? Silver Wolf is a Branya? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? What? What? <laughs> no wonder they look so similar. <laughs> okay, so I'm not just racist, I guess. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, is that Silver Wolf or is that Branya? I can't tell. Oh, well, <laughs> clearly you're not supposed to. <laughs> like, what? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Silver Wolf is a Branya. So wait, does Silver Wolf not exist in Impact? Is Impact in, in Impact? Is Silver Wolf just Branya's code name in Impact? What the fuck? What the f- I'm- oh my- why am I trying to understand Impact? I don't know why, I just- but I like- I- I don't know why I'm trying to understand the lore. In Impact, she's known as Hacks or Buddy. Okay, but like, uh, it's a different person? <laughs> but why- how is she a Branya? <laughs> I don't fucking know! I want to type in Silver Wolf, just Honkai Impact, just so I don't get Star Rail spoilers. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm not alone. Clearly, my twin on the subreddit has apparently has apparently made the same. I saw people say that Branya and so forth are the same character. How does that work? <laughs> This guy's like, bro, I'm confused. Somebody help me. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. How did they come to this? How did they come to that conclusion? I know both are based on Branya from Honkai Impact. From Honkai Impact 3rd. Are there Branya clones in the 3rd? All right, in different universes in Honkai, there can be, there are, can be, there can be multiple people with the same name. 
in looks and everything besides story. But it's mostly from different universe. For example, the Hemiko in Honkai Star Rail is chilling, while the Hemiko in Honkai Impact 3 is six feet under. Oh, well, she's dead in that game. They could have thought that perhaps it is a Branya from a different universe that came to HSR like Weld. There are no Branya clones in the third, and just like in Honkai Impact, these two Branyas in HSR are not the same characters. Branya is one of the main characters in third, and she has a battle suit with her as an adult that is canon to the that is the that is canon to the main story of Impact. What? What? Huh? Who? What? What? All right, Silver. Bro Who is Brony? <laughs> Who are these people? Oh, that's Honkai third spoilers. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I wasn't going to play that game, but okay. I guess that's where she is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry for anybody who was playing Honkai Impact the third. <laughs> uh, I apologize. I didn't think that was going to show up on the subreddit. If Silverwolf is the same as Hacks or Bunny, then Silverwolf would have a bunny theme instead. Well, she does have a bunny theme. She has bunny ears. I'm scared. Okay, wait. What is Paper Shy Guy saying? Paper Shy Guy, is what you're saying confirmed or are these your theories? Because to be fair, the subreddit is a year. This, apparently, the subreddit post is a year old. So maybe we got some more information as far as I'm aware. Because some people are saying Silverwolf isn't a Branya, or at least not the same. Or people are just saying they're assuming. Yeah, because they're saying Branya is a counterpart to, well, Branya. Silverwolf is a counterpart to Haxor Bunny specifically. And Haxor Bunny herself is an exempia of Branya. Oh, okay. That's how I get it. All right. Figured it out. That's what it is. That sounds correct. <laughs> that sounds right. All right, so... I figured it out. All right. So, Branya is a is the counterpart to Branya. Silverwolf in Honkai Star Rail is a counterpart to Haxor Bunny, who in Honkai Impact is a clone of Branya. <laughs> so, by this logic, in Honkai Star Rail, Silverwolf and Branya are not the same people at all because silver wolf is a different person now <laughs> i think i got it <laughs> branya's the counterpart of branya <laughs> bro how is it that i can understand kingdom hearts nobodies but i can't understand this shit <laughs> i can i can understand that shit just fine there's like three different fucking rikus and i can figure out which one of them are him <laughs> <laughs> there's fucking there's Riku, then there's Dada Riku, and then there's <laughs> and there's Dada Riku, there's Riku, and then there's Riku and some possessed. <laughs> Not the same person, but eerily similar. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yeah. So like sabers with so like saber with with fate. Saber with fate is slightly different because Saber is the same person every time. It's just she forgets the previous wars. But that is the same Saber. Like with fate, that is the same Saber every time. She just doesn't remember what happened. But that is the same one, if I recall correctly. Or at least she's supposed to forget the previous Grail Wars. Does she have amnesia? No, every servant, I'm pretty sure, forgets the previous Grail War they participated in. Like, she remembers herself, but she won't remember a previous Grail War that she already participated in. But yeah, Saber's also a class, but yeah, but I'm assuming who they're talking about is... I'm assuming who Dragon King is talking about is Archuria. And King Arthur. It's just like, yes, obviously, Saber is a class, but... Also, Welt is just well from Impact. Oh, wait, he's here because... Oh, that's sad. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> the only exception to this rule is Welt. That is the same ass dude, yeah. From what I'm gathering, that is the same guy. So everyone in Star Rail are counterparts because this is a new... This is a different universe to Impact. And 
in the different universes this is what's happening okay got it cool all right so technically silver wolf is a Branya quotations but not really okay i got it now all right I got really confused when you said she was a Branya, because I was like, is she a clone? Is this like lore that's going to be talked about? <laughs> well, I was like, okay. But okay, but, but thank you for telling it, though. This is, this is cool to know about, though, I will say. Thank you. Anyway, now that all that's said and done, oh, well, that was some, that was, that was, that was a cute little kiss. That well, was cute. Speaking of, well, do you want to see him in a canon idol outfit? Sure. Not completely Branya, but not different. Yeah, it's like she's the she's the counterpart to a character who is the clone of the Branya from her world. Who is a cl she is a counterpart to a character who is a clone of Branya in their world. But Silver Wolf is not a clone of Branya in Star Rail. She's just the counterpart to a clone. See, I got it. I figured it out. I'm smart. <laughs> I figured it out. I'm smart. All right. Well, now, now I have another question. Since we're talking about Honkai Impact shit, has is every character have a counterpart in Impact so far? It's getting late. Like, what main characters have we seen who don't have a fucking like Impact counterpart? Like, is there a March? I'm, ass I'm assuming Don Hong is exclusive to this, right? Start the video. Not everyone. Okay, so it is not everyone. What the fuck am I looking at here? It looks like a profitable job. <gasps> Why don't we debut? <sighs> Fine. No matter what the cost is, I will purge Honkai. Are you crazy? This is impossible. Oh my god, is that its wealth? Oh. Make sure to watch me shine on stage. Oh. Nay. Oh. No matter what the cost is, I will prevail. Snap out of it, you two. Besides, why are these outfits so revealing? <laughs> oh. Someone should show March this. Actually, it's just Bron. Really? So it's actually not like a good number of people. Natasha has a third impact version. It's just Branya, Zila, and like two others. Okay, so is it really just only the Bellabog cast? Well, I guess I should say the Yarlow people. Is it really just the, the Yar? Is it really just the Yarlow people and like Silver Wolf? That's kind of, that's kind of, I, I guess that's probably a better way to do it. Cause I was starting to be like, it's like everybody just <laughs> resent here. <laughs> and there's a version of everyone everywhere. Is there a march? Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madam Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madam Helm Master up to speed. It's over to you now. Okay. Yes, Madam. Report the losses. Hey, we have you. And find someone from the Divination Commission. I can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. 
But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person. I just realized now that I've been told about this, does Yang have like a strand of white hair because he's like really old? <laughs> and politely decline your proposal. Oh, cool. Klein? The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over Yeah, he's like 80 years, years old, Jesus. And countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Oh my fucking Outside god. Our help is not needed on this occasion. We're all like, we don't need your help. We're strong without you, losers. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? Can we just go to a planet where we show up and say, hey, we're willing to help. And they're like, oh, thank God, we actually needed some help. And then, you know, they just let us dive right in. No, okay, that's, that's not going to happen. There's just always going to be some sort of complication where they're going to be like, no, fuck you. <laughs> From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry I keep bringing it up, but like the fact that I know that Walt is just from like another like dimension and shit, he just looks like he's so done. <laughs> Looks like he's just so fucking done with everything. I was like, even his voice. Like he's just like, look, lady, we know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> I am not dealing with this shit right now. <laughs> Dude, we should probably put Link Purge back on. It's already back on. That idol outfit puts a toll on a man. <laughs> Yeah, put all, I put them through a lot. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Also, knowing this information about well, Welt makes him texting me earlier, asking me how to change his profile picture, really funny. <laughs> Mr. Yang, if the Sanjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I don't no. I'm afraid that's impossible. What? Oh, uh, you can't help us, but also you can't leave. <laughs> huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskip Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate, before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. Someone hacked into it? That can only mean one person. Don Hong! <laughs> the hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, oh. a member of the Stellaron Hunters. I mean, that was my second guess. <laughs> what say you in your defense? I mean, to be fair, they did tell us to come here. I mean, yeah, be honest, what? I want to use you to take us out. Uh, they told us to come here. Actually, wait. <laughs> wait. That sounds really bad. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I don't I don't think we should say that. No, no wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. I didn't think about this. <laughs> Just be quiet. I don't think that's good. <laughs> you know what? Um yeah, let me just uh say nothing. Yang? 
You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. Or not. <laughs> Don't be too harsh, Yukon. If <gasps> this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. Kagi! General Jing Yuan. He's so nice! It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. I always knew I could trust Kagi! <laughs> Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yukon. This is indeed an internal affair. Oh, so yeah, wait, we're enemies? <laughs> the Stellaron Hunters and the Express are mortal enemies. <laughs> wait, we are? <laughs> it's gonna make those text messages really awkward. <laughs> I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lofu. But I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Okay, well, you know, when she said it, I didn't like it. But when Kagi says it, I'm okay to agree with him. Yo, you got it, Kagi. <laughs> of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. <laughs> one steals a Celeron, one hunts for the Celeron. Well, yeah, I know that. I'm just saying, this, those text messages that I sent them, that feels really weird now. <sighs> the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. Also, Silverwolf is like one of the people who we allow on the train, too. <laughs> like this, like so, like Silver Wolf, Silver Wolf is someone we allow on the express. Also, like I don't know, this feels really weird. Like, are they really our mortal enemies? Like, I don't know if we should be allowing Silver Wolf to show up whenever she pleases. <laughs> uh, but that this occasion to come to come sooner. It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I? Ask what the favor you spoke of is. <laughs> Are we the bad guys? <laughs> it's a complicated relationship. It feels like a relationship that isn't taken too seriously by both of the parties involved. <laughs> uh, Frenemies. <laughs> a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago, who goes by the name of Blade. Mm -hmm. During our investigation, the Divination Commission the department in charge of intelligence processing intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has managed to hide aboard the ship. Oh, she's As here. Where that transmission was destined. The Express. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express uh -oh. are honorable people <laughs> whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. Uh-oh. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron hunters to sow dissent between us. Y y yeah that's right we've been framed da, da, da. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah never started an alliance with those guys never ne ne could never trust them could never trust that we could never trust mother I mean Kafka <laughs> evil woman she is maybe they have other motives we can handle the stellar off but it will take time and will require the bulk of the cloud knights on the ship and is this kafka that concerns me she is pretty strong i have used her ship, <laughs> the bigger the threat she will pretty find. good light type <laughs> very, very good lightning type since the stellaron hunters lured you to our ship we shall move with the current you are hereby authorized to do as you deem oh shit, really 
with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows. And wait, is this chapter about the Stellar? Oh, okay, wait, they might be cooking. What the fuck? Damn, bro, fucking Yarlo who? <laughs> I remember I was already like... I remember I was like, I don't know, guys. How is the game going to make me care about a new world? It's going to be really hard. Because, I mean, I actually gave a shit about a lot of the characters in Yarlow 7. I was like, bro, fuck it. Who the, can't, who the hell cares about those guys anymore? <laughs> Kakolia? Who? Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us. Reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron hunters. And help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burks. What? <laughs> Oh. What do you think? Why are you asking me what I think? Aren't you in charge? <laughs> Don't ask me what I think. Let's move out with the current. This should be a focus on the Stellaron. Move with the current and help out, yeah. If you are able to capture this Stellaron hunter, the <laughs> Authorize to do as you deem fit. Okay, March. Now blow up the. <laughs> now blow them up. The blow up the ship. Never fails to reward that which is given. <laughs> March, blow up the lofu. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. See, this met this mission would have been really funny if, like, I played this game when Kafka was like had a banner currently, because then I could probably try to look for Kafka as Kafka, <laughs> and everyone's just like, I wonder where she could be. <laughs> If there is anything the Skyframe Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. The chat concluded, and Walt shot you a convert gesture. You understand this is the crew's own discussion time. All right, game plan now. Let's go, boys. Let's go, team. And by boys, I mean well, me and March and well, the one boy. Now, where's March? Only scratch the surface of this. <laughs> She's over there by anyway. herself. I thought this was a team discussion. <laughs> I guess March isn't allowed to be a part of it. Fair enough. I guess I wouldn't trust her in a team discussion either. Uh, I thought he was on our side. Theoretically, yes. But something feels off. He seemed friendly to me. That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. He did only mention him once. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Uh, why rely on us? That is true. They would have leverage. Shit, man. No, no. Damn, he really is showing why he's been doing this for 80 years. <laughs> Damn, he's really showing his experience. The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so... Why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron hunter? That, that, that is also a good point. Blade of Escape. That is true. Or he could be using us as bait. Yeah, also, that could also be true. I think Blade might have escaped and he doesn't have him anymore. Yes. The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us. Provided they even captured him in the first place. Well, why would he lie about that? Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. That's why he asked for our Oh. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. You did tell her to blow up the low food. That's what she's going to go do. <laughs> See, guys. Actually, now I think about it. I don't think I have any bad guys on my team. <laughs> I have Yu Kong. Yu Kong. Why won't she trust us? You're on my team. <laughs> Yu Kong, you have no reason not to trust me. You're with us. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> Also, if we're gonna be here, we have to we have to go to the cannon team. Let's go, team. Team go getters. Oh wait, speaking of which, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at me now, thinking I'm a fucking weirdo. Hello. Oh, I still have my light cone. I have zero relics. Yeah, let me just uh, 
Let me just put something on here. Uh, hello, uh, don't mind me. I just want to, just in case you ever need me again. Ooh, that one. Okay, I guess that would make sense. I could even give a the little hat. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'll, I'll give our 12 cowboy hats, I guess, to them. Oh, we don't have any level 12 cowboy hats? I mean, Luca has them. I just take Luca's. <laughs> I just take Luca's. I might use Luca. I don't know. I don't have anything to give fucking brutal me with my bat. I miss bat version of me. <laughs> I don't want to give her anything for the sense that she might just be worthless. Look at her. I do miss bat me, though. <laughs> she did so much. Like, to have a bat. Could put on the same relics as your other trailblazer. Yeah, but then they'll be removed. And I have to keep switching them. I was only doing it just in case they ever have to make me play as my my physical version again. I do miss the physical trailblazer, though. Remember I saw one thing that said they were like, physical trailblazer's fun. And I'm like, that's hilarious to hear somebody say it's fun. They didn't say the use, they didn't use the word good. They said physical trailblazer is fun. <laughs> and I'm like, that, 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 to me, that's funny. Hey, March. What do you make of this, Chung Yuan? He, he's pretty handsome, trustworthy, suspicious. You think everyone's suspicious. Though they do say some girls have a sixth sense. This is why you weren't invited to the talks we just had. <laughs> <laughs> He's much easier to talk to than that Yukong. Their attitudes are so different. Maybe I'm that's back. Welcome why back, she's DJ. only a realm master and he's a general. This is why you aren't invited to our talk. Your character's already pre-built, so you don't need to build them. Oh, you meant trial characters. Oh, okay. So I won't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Back to March 7th master being a bitch. Dependa. You heard our discussion. What do you make of it? Oh, <gasps> it's Aunt Wing. What do I make of it? Oh, that's the girl. The of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Ah, oh, yeah. So we were right. His intentions are just used as bait. Wasn't that my idea, General? That's mean. <laughs> Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Hm. Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Jing Yuan, did you let him escape on purpose? Huh? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. <laughs> I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Xianzhou. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fu Shen. He's a secret villain, isn't he? <laughs> this is another Kakolia situation, isn't he? <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the sea. No. The I don't know if I can trust you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> the weeds in his garden. Never mind. He's cool. He's got weed. <laughs> general, Diviner Fu wants the general's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick. Temper. Maybe he is a good guy. I'll retire when she's achieved a better 
balance. His music is nice. This Teleron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. Shut the fuck up, Yang Quang. No one's using you. <laughs> I can understand your impatience. And I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? Yes. I'm you're a four you star. Actually, you're a five action. star, but still. <laughs> Governing Xianzhe is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess Okay, well, maybe he isn't evil. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Or is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide. And there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <laughs> that boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> my fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. <laughs> I might have just accidentally let a child go out and get himself killed on a mission that's too dangerous for him. <laughs> like, seriously, dude, what the fuck? This is very dangerous. He's probably <laughs> trying to go kind of go get him. <laughs> you think it'll, you'll take a bit longer to chat Madam Yukong. We have a show all silence as you find me at the docks. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm not a very good guardian. Oh, <laughs> Yankwing's decent if you have a dedicated shielder. Yeah, well, I have better Yankwing, so I don't like him. Me to look after you. Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. Hello. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Uh, you seem reluctant. No, no. Uh, though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. <laughs> Please rate me a good review on Yelp. Here we are. I feel sleepy already. Here for a nap? That's not like you. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. I was about to say, sleeping at an inn? Oh, this is gonna go on. This is gonna go just like last time, isn't it? Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Oh, she's talking to Walt. Oh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. Uh, I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Old girl? They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a... Work hard, play this hard streamer is funny and cool, and he makes funny content. That's it for my Yelp review. Nine out of ten. Oh, thank you, DJ, for the Yelp review and for the dollar. 
Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Xianjiao so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. This still feels really weird. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Hmm. The commission will cover the cost? <laughs> yeah. That's the friendliest thing I've heard since we arrived. Oh. <clears throat> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? <laughs> we should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. I'm gonna take a bet here and say she left this on purpose. Which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, Get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Is that tree? <laughs> uh, I know it. She was the tree the whole time. Let's take advantage of the rest. It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. Is that her full title? Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. Well, that's not very nice. Mes message failed to send. You okay? I think his phone is off. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are you worried about those two? Wells is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko, did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you still around hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Do you know him? The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. That's his dream. Is he...
connected to that past you want to escape? I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. Oh, we only stay here for seven days? <laughs> <laughs> we get a week to handle these Stellaron problems? Travel with us once this is all over, right? I'm Don Hung! Don Hung time! <laughs> okay. Hello, Pom Pom. You wanna disembark, Don Hung? Changed your mind? Yes. Well then, Pom Pom wishes you the best of luck. Make sure you return before the express departs and bring Pom Pom back some local specialty. <laughs> All of these things happen in a fucking week? How much shit happens in those seven days? I was about to say, you're telling me we were in fucking Yarlo? We were in Yarlo for seven days? <laughs> I mean, when you do think about it, I think canonically, like, when we do the main missions, they only sleep, like, what, three to four times, actually? So, yeah, I guess that would make sense. They only do sleep, like, two? I can only really recall, like, back in the, uh, Yarlo, uh, Yarlo 6, Yarlo 7. I don't remember the number every time. Back in Yarlo, we only slept, like, like, they only forced us to sleep, like, two or three times. So, you, you take that. That was about four days. Okay, why are our phones not working? Send the message out. The is network is down. But some function... Virtually nothing has changed since I left. Africa's messing with it. Darkness. This place is all that I remember of the Lord Fool. Oh, yeah! oh hell yeah, dude. Am I gonna be able to play as Don Hong but good? Ooh, Don Hong but good! Because they leveled him up. Don Hong but dead! Why are we the equivalent of Luffy going through the Grand Line? Luffy fucking going through the Grand Line quick as fucking balls, bro. But who are you? Uh, hi. Stay where you are. I can handle this. Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals. Actually, wait, wasn't your banner just here? Or that guy's banner. That's what I meant. I get my own group. Don Hong gets his own group of friends. I have no interest it's in Chicken Girl. Chicken time. The power of the chicken. Boo. Man. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Is but a vision. Okay, she's very hurt. She's dead. Yeah, that was supposed to happen, clearly. With you two risking your lives for me, could I really stay where I am? <laughs> Move carefully. 
Oh, his, his ult is apparently locked for the story. <laughs> Could I really stay where I am? Oh, I can't even control him. Oh, he's AI. What the? What is that? Why does he have a tomb under over him? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Fucking die. Who's this guy? Why is he cool as fuck? Are you two okay? Good. I'm Sushong of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yao Ching. Okay, so he's also part of the Cloud Knights. Well, I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. <laughs> it's a good thing I joined the fray. <laughs> I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all oh, Okay, so he's not a part of the Cloud Knights, clearly. He's just a civilian. That was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Not a cloud knight. Huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Come with me. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've okay, never he's seen a traitor. Starskip Haven in such a state. I, uh, I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. Actually, I like I Sushang. Have no idea either. Anyway, you two just need to come with me. But you're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. Uh, can we use your my name? name? Is Dan Hung. Okay, we can. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help, but I can leave the port on my own. No can do, mister. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Starskip Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. No need to worry. You'll see them when we get there. Aren't you going to take my name too? Miss? <laughs> you already said it when we were busy fighting. La... something. Lo Cha! Is that right? Lo Cha! I remember it. Let's go. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushong will guarantee your safety. I like Sushong. He's cute. <laughs> this, I, also, this guy's just kind of funny. I don't know. One more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she's clearly not good at writing. <laughs> I like Sushang. Message not sent. Why not? I forgot to pay for my data. Uh we demolish the base stations. Long range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for uh, us. Ah, that's what I figure too. Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron Hunter Hacker Girl's handiwork. Yep. That's what I was thinking too, Mr. Yang. Open, but I was thinking too. And me and you, we're like two peas of the same pod. Yeah, me and Mr. Yang, guys. Yeah, we're smart. <laughs> yeah, just leave it to me and Mr. Yang, you know. Me and him both know what's going on. <laughs> I can get another pass now. Nice. Won't that joke only work in Chinese? I mean, it could work in Japanese, too. I'm pretty sure both use characters. It's one of those that wouldn't more make sense in English. Oh, you've arrived. <laughs> she still doesn't seem like she's happy. <laughs> I like your sense of humor, benefactors. Of course 
course I'm happy to see you. When things settle down, I might even get promoted for catching a Stellaron hunter. Stargazer Navalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back. Just like at Cloudford, Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. With monsters wreaking havoc and the knights scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. <sighs> so we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, and we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements? Ah, well, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. <laughs> This is what we do every day. <laughs> That's the trailblazing life for ya. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going. Uh, hmm. Do I start the mission now or do we stop? We've been kind of going for about like four hours now. Uh, might stop here for now. We've been going for quite a bit. Yeah. Well, for once, we're not ending a stream at, like, fucking 12 o'clock midnight, but that's probably due to the fact that we started streaming early. Stream technically started streaming at, like, 6 o'clock. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was nice to play a bit of the story. Definitely probably going to play some more next time. Yeah, do this. Definitely curious about this. Also, I guess next time we'll probably also uh, do fucking... Oh, is it a Mo Kushel? I don't know what the fuck that one's actually called or what that one actually entails. If I can... Or I can <laughs> because then I think we might be... Or the Mo Kushel? Whatever this is. Probably, this one's interesting because Zila... It's actually Zila's one. It's of Zila and uh, Luca. So, curious to see what that's even about. And then, and then we also probably... We might start this one, or I might just keep doing the story ones, and then we'll probably do Rarely Affectionate at some point later. It apparently stars Clara. Yeah. I'm glad we got to learn all about that hot guy, Yuri. Yeah, well, we got to sit here and learn all about all about that. What a, 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 it was nice to learn about, like, I guess a little bit of how the whole counterpart stuff worked. Cause I, I always I got told about it on like the side of things, but no one ever actually sat down and fully kind of explained it. You know, now it's like actually understanding it a little better. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. You know, it's kind of interesting. I also am very happy to hear that not every single character is just like, a, a counterpart because yeah that would have been i could have been kind of questioning the creativity of the developers if i was like why are they just making all the same characters and putting them in different games <laughs> so the fact that it turns out they don't just do that and there is actually some original characters that are, st are dead to stay i'm like okay well that's good at least <laughs> you know good way to start pride month hey, pride month doesn't start until Two days from now on saturday anyway uh that is it hope you guys enjoyed this has been zero peace